got no makeup on whatsoever. It's going to be interesting to see how well this foundation covers up my spots, imperfections, freckles, you know, stuff like that. So what I like to do is just apply it to the back of my hand. I don't know what it is, I think it's just habit. I do that with every single one of my foundations. And I decided to use a beauty sponge on the one half of my face and then on the other half just a face buffing brush. You'll see that a bit later. I would say this foundation is medium to full coverage. It's also mattifying so it is a little bit drying on my skin because I obviously have dry skin but ladies with oily skin I think this would work beautifully. It's also definitely buildable, in fact it builds up really nicely, um, it doesn't get cakey because the consistency of the foundation is so thin. So I don't know, I really like that because you can just keep adding until you get the desired result um, and you don't get this insanely cakey look. <laughs> It does also claim to last for 24 hours, but I don't know guys, I just can't bring myself to, I don't know, believe that a foundation can last that long on your skin. I blow my nose throughout the day, I rub my face, all that jazz. So I suppose it's different for every person, but for me it's not some crazy, insane 24 hour wear, just in my opinion. So here is now a great comparison, obviously, on my right side, I don't have any foundation on, you can see my freckles, imperfections, spots, you name it, and then of course on the left side, the foundation has covered everything up so beautifully, I don't think it looks cakey personally, and still very natural, you can see some of my freckles and, like I said, one of my spots here and there, so very much a natural look. Anyway, I'm going in with some more foundation now for my right side, and as mentioned in the beginning, I'm using basically a face buffing brush. So I did find with the brush it was definitely a lot more streaky and it was much harder to blend out the foundation to get rid of those streaks. I think that's also why so many people love the beauty blender or beauty sponges because every single time it just blends things so smoothly and seamlessly. But I will say that a lot more product went a lot further with the brush. In other words, I didn't have to use as much product when I used the face brush. Whereas on the side with the beauty blender I had to use almost double the amount of product. At the end of the day, if I'm honest, I preferred using the brush, I prefer the finish actually is what I'm trying to say. When I used the Beauty Blender with this foundation, it really sunk into my pores and made them, I don't know, show a lot more. But with the face brush, not so much, so long as I blended the streaks and stuff out. Hope that makes sense guys. Anyway, so there you saw the final results and once again, this is just what I looked like when I had makeup on and everything like that, I had finished the rest of my face. Overall, it's a stunning foundation guys, super super affordable, so easy to find, and I really like it. I would definitely recommend this to my friends and family, 